so in last video we have seen the basics of object structures we have also seen that how the object structure is created we discussed about the collection of objects how different objects will be associated by a relationship we have also seen that how we will be selecting different attributes which we want to send to external system or take from external system as well as we have seen uh, what is alias conflict and what is support flat structure so this is the object structure which we have created and we have used this object structure to showcase all these things now we are going to talk about some other um, things today so if you will click on the select action menu you will notice there are multiple different options which are also available so we have already seen exclude include fields uh, the second one is related with inbound setting restrictions so if I click on it you will be able to see that uh, this opens this particular dialog box and you can see that it basically shows you what are the different fields where a checkbox restricted is selected now what is this restricted basically the concept of restricted is that you will restrict some of the, the attributes in an MBO which you do not want a external system to override so for example if you have work order ID you know that particular work order ID is automated, automatic generated number and it is one of the primary column it is the primary key of work order table so you do not want that particular sequence to be broken by update happening by some other external system right so this is what you will do restricted if you have anything which is restricted in that particular case what happens is that system is going to take its own value rather than it is going to override the existing value so for example as I said that if you are having a field work order ID and you do not want any other external system to send any random work order ID and update the work order ID because it may impact it may give you some random errors or it may impact your work order application itself you will keep it restricted and if you want to override something there are certain fields for example you can override so for example if you are sending a status and this is restricted right now and uh, I want whatever status is coming from external system I want that particular status to be updated obviously that status need to be there into my synonym domain but if you want that particular status to be updated so you can still do that for that you can basically check this checkbox override and you can click on ok once you will click on ok then again open this in board setting restriction and you will be able to see that this override is checked and you can actually also uncheck the restricted checkbox and you can click ok so now if you are going to get some status value from external system uh, your external system will be able to update that particular value on the work order status and where we restrict the where we restrict any attribute is in database configuration so if you don't know then say for example I am searching for work order object so I go to work order object and here you will notice something as restrict attribute so you can basically restrict any of the attribute and as I said that once any attribute is restricted check this checkbox this particular attribute will not be overwritten by any uh, external values and only MBO validation and MBO framework uh, MBO validation will happen and MBO, and MBO framework will take care of updating its value so we go back and uh, you can also see that there are some other information available so we have already seen add modify values then the, you have something known as uh, advanced configuration so in the advanced configuration you have this kind of dialog coming in where if you there are certain options which are available so say for example you do not want to exclude parent key so when you are doing work order uh, when you are generating work order and you are generating work order activity you know that the parent key is work order number and that is already available into work order you do not want that particular thing to be uh, to be sent so you are going to check this if you want to include that then you can uncheck this particular checkbox so similarly there are some other events which are also available which you can actually uh, check or uncheck if you need then you have uh, delete object duplicate object structure to duplicate an object structure delete object structure will delete it if you are dealing with 
uh, application import and export functionality like you want to enable application import and export in any of the application in maximo then you will be covering it here we will see this in detail in subsequent videos uh, other than that you have some security related things also and uh, you have app action definition query definition these are certain things which are more relevant uh, with oslc or rest apis and we will see how this particular thing works when we will discuss uh, rest is, uh, api or oslc api in detail so for the security i want to show you if you notice this configure object structure security this dialog box comes so you have the option that you want to control different sig options so if you want to control some sig options in that particular case you can uh, do that very well by uh, enabling this particular option so if i enable this but check this particular checkbox and if i do okay in that particular case you will notice that what is it going to do it is basically going to use the object structure for authorization name and if you know and it you will be able to see these options so you can actually control what are the different options which will be available so you can control whether this particular object structure can be used for deletion for insertion or it only have the read access or it also have the save access so you will be seeing that this particular object structure when you check this will also have a similar access onto the security group module where in the security group you have a separate tag for tab for uh, object structures where you have to give access